Hello all, I'm Dr. Neema Bhatt, Senior Consultant Hematologist, Bone Marrow Transplant Physician and Pediatric Oncologist. I'm here to talk to you about a very important topic, especially when it comes to hematology. That's about a test called Bone Marrow Aspiration Biopsy. So when any patient hears about somebody doing a procedure on them, when we talk about, you know, we need to do this procedure, the first question they ask is, Oh, how big of a procedure is it? Is it painful? Do I have to get anesthetized or do I have to become unconscious for the procedure? So I would like to take this opportunity to talk about this very simple but extremely important diagnostic test that we do as hematologists to diagnose a lot of the blood conditions. This is called bone marrow aspiration biopsy. So what is bone marrow? And what is this procedure called? Bone marrow is nothing but a spongy material that is present inside our bones. And as adults, we have it mostly only in the long bones, uh, mostly only in the flat bones. So our pelvic bones or our hip bones and the sternum or the chest bone is where we have a lot of active bone marrow. Bone marrow is a site of production. It's like the factory where all our blood cells are made and then pushed out into the circulation. So when do we test for bone marrow aspiration biopsy? Whenever we suspect that blood counts are abnormal or if there is a blood condition, or some sort of a blood cancer that's going on and we need to diagnose exactly what type is it. That is when we do this procedure called bone marrow aspiration biopsy. Fortunately, it's not a very complicated procedure and it actually does not even require the patient to have anesthesia unless it's a very young child and is absolutely unable to bear the pain. For most adults, we give local anesthesia as in the place where we are doing the aspiration or biopsy. We just give anesthesia to that part, numb, make it numb or numb it and then put a very thin needle. So the needle is just just a little bit thicker than your pen tip, uh, a ballpoint pen tip. That needle is introduced into the bone, uh, especially the hip bone, and then the sample is taken and sent for testing. The entire procedure takes maximum of about 10 to 15 minutes. One way I describe it to my patients to um, give them an idea is when we want to see blood counts, we take blood samples from the veins and send it for testing. That's the only way you'll come to know that you know blood counts are less or more or what is the range. Similar way, when we need to know what is going on in the bone marrow, the only way we can do it is by taking samples from the bone marrow with a needle and sending it for testing. Some of you might have had very bad experiences when it comes to even blood sampling. So sometimes I say that sometimes doing a bone marrow is a lot easier than, than doing a blood sampling because it may be difficult to find the vein, but it's not difficult to find the bone. So once the procedure is done, we just remove the needle and put a small bandaid, put some pressure and ensure that there is no bleeding and then make sure that the patient is on their way home without any major issues. So such a simple procedure should not cause panic or anxiety in patients and you should be able to come freely and discuss with us about this procedure. If you have any more questions about bone marrow aspiration and biopsy, feel free to reach out to me. I'm Dr. Neema Bhatt, Senior Consultant Hematologist, BMT Physician and Pediatric Oncologist. Thank you.